right, friends. It's been a minute since we explored previous Nina's emotions through song. Hello guys, welcome back to the channel, it's Nina. I thought today that I would do another songwriting video because I just like to switch it up sometimes. I feel like I'm constantly just talking at you guys, just throwing information at you, singing, playing guitar, and I just feel like sometimes these are just so relaxing. We could just sit here, chat, play some music, you know, the vibes. I've got my chai, of course. Okay, a lot of you make fun of me for saying chai tea, and I understand that chai Chai means tea already, so I'm basically saying tea tea, but this is a specific kind of tea. I'm not having like green tea, I'm having chai tea. I don't know. But as always, we have tea so that we can spill the tea. So if you're new here, I'm Nina. I sometimes like to go through my old songwriting notebooks and try to play some of the songs and also explain to you who slash what they're about. And it's incredibly embarrassing at times, but it's also very entertaining. I decided this time we're gonna go through some of the songs that I wrote while I was studying abroad on my semester at sea where I lived on a ship for four months and I wrote so many songs and I actually got to play guitar and write music with just so many new people that I met and it was just so fun. So these are some really good ones I'm excited about. Okay, so the first one we're gonna look at, okay, I think we're going to like 2018 now. I'm gonna do a little bit before I left for my study abroad and then the songs that I wrote while I was on the ship, but I had this cute little notebook and it says, call it what you want. I think my sister got this for me for Christmas, maybe from like Redbubble or something. I'm gonna start off strong with this song because I was going through a phase where I just like didn't know what to write about. I really don't know what inspired this, but it's just kind of like, we're all broken. It just matters what you do with your broken pieces to put yourself back together again. I had some really good lyrics in this one, so I'm gonna sing a little bit of it for you. These songs are mixed in with my notes from sorority recruitment. Love that. <laughs> okay, we're just gonna go ahead and try to play it. Okay, where's, oh, my cable's all the way around. Okay, this one's like a finger picking song, so I don't think I'm gonna remember how I did it exactly, but we're just gonna try. Wow, I didn't even write down the chords, so I'm gonna have to <laughs> try to remember them. Oh, there it is. this chorus, which I also cannot remember which chords. I just made that whole part up right now. Okay. <laughs> So that song is called Broken and Beautiful. I didn't even say that, but starting off on a good note here. Okay, I don't even need the notes to do this one because this is one I've done all the time. And this is a song that I constantly will sing and it's a crowd favorite. <laughs> I'm just trying to find it so I can see. Oh, it's like all ripped up. That is hilarious. Okay, so basically me and my best friend Lauren wrote this song. I was home during the second half of my sophomore year of college because I was like so sick that my mom had to come and get me and bring me home for the week. Towards the end of the week, Lauren came over and she was like, I need a write a song and she had this one line like always like some of the best songs that we write is when one of 
of us has just this one thing that we write the whole song around and she had this line that says, I don't need you, but I want you. And we wrote this great hook for this chorus and it's just so fun. And I'm gonna play this song because this song I performed at an open mic on semester at CU while I was abroad. And it was the first time I had sung an original song for like a performance. So it was like a big kind of deal. Um, this is one of my favorite songs that I've ever written, me and Lauren together. We originally called it Thorns, but I think I officially changed the name of it to Over It. And it's super angsty and it's just, it's a good time. So before I play it, I'll tell you the background. So basically we had both kind of been through this experience before where it's like, you're not the first choice, so you should just get over somebody. But like, you want to still have something with them, but you don't need it, but you want it. I'm just gonna let the song sing for itself, okay. I could have probably sang that better, but you get the gist of it. Ooh, one of my favorite parts about this song is the bridge, so I will play that for you. Okay, so basically after the second chorus, it goes into like a little instrumental break, and then it goes into the bridge. to this last chorus and it goes because I don't need you I don't want you all I wanted was the truth you got my secrets and my demons I knew that I could haunt you too and now you're so confused and it just kind of like switches perfect perspective but yeah that's that song we're gonna move on I feel like I've spent too much time on that one okay now we're gonna move on to the songs that I actually wrote while I was on the ship which I wrote a lot because there was lots of inspiration around me if you know what I'm saying <laughs> I wonder if anyone from SAS watches my videos. If you do, please comment down below. I miss everybody. The first half of this is actually my supposed to be my like school notes from SAS and my class stuff, but that like literally I think I only took notes for like two weeks and then I gave up. So I guess I'm just gonna, you know, fully expose myself in this video, which is kind of funny because I feel like this is like fairly recent. So I wrote this song maybe the first week on the ship, just kind of like, and it's got like enchanted Taylor vibes to me. It's like, you don't know this person, but you just kind of like saw them and you're all starry eyed, you know. I used to write a lot of songs like this, where it's like, just upon meeting somebody, you're just like, oh wow. Um, I'm for sure not gonna say names or any specific details because I really don't need that because some of my friends on SAS were constantly trying to get me to tell them who my songs are about and I am so proud that I literally never have told anybody. Yeah, so anyways, this song is called You. Basically, this song is about I had like a crush on somebody but then there was this other person who I thought had a crush on me and I was trying to like, um, and just like the awkwardness of all of that. Anyways, okay. Okay, we need to go up higher. Where is the song? I thought I wrote it in here. I met you on the second day. I knew there was something about the way you came out of the room. And I left a note on your door. I wish you could have said more, but I was too afraid to. And I'm asking myself just what
then we get to the second verse and it's like He wants to know my favorite songs And I guess we get along quite nicely But I know that he's not you And I da 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 No, what is it? There's that song. That one was a fun song. Oh, here's something I'm gonna share with you guys. This is not a song that I wrote, but it is a mashup that I created for the talent show that I did on Semester at Sea. And if you guys wanna go see that video, it's actually on my channel. You just gotta scroll literally all the way to the bottom. And this is a Taylor Swift mashup that I did with 10 different Taylor Swift songs. I got up there with my red guitar and having my Taylor Swift moment, I guess. I'll kind of play for you guys a little bit of it. So it went. Our song is a slamming screen door Sneaking out they tapping on your window And when I get For I said I miss it Got me Could play it again Then I switched to 15 and then it went Take a deep breath We did Wildest Dreams. We did Ready For It. Go check that out if you want. Also, let me know if you guys want me to teach that mashup as a tutorial. So here's the thing. I wrote this song and I sang it at the SAS open mic night and my friend in our music club came up with the melody for this song because I had the chords and then he started playing like a lead melody over it and then I went back to my cabin and I wrote words to the melody. So I would credit him with like some songwriting credit with this but I wrote this song not about this guy but about a different person in order to play it for open mic night I changed the words so he wouldn't know it was about him because <laughs> I just didn't want that drama in my life my friends literally always asked me since I performed it asked me who it was about even though I'm pretty sure they probably know I mean I didn't change them that much but I had the original version and then I had the version that I played at the open mic night and they had two different names Names. The first one was called Wanted You To Know, and then the second version was called Before You Go. Also disclaimer, this song and the first song were about two different people. Many different inspirations. Walking around, head looking down, never thought that I could be seen. Just look at this place, never thought I would This is the first chorus of the original version. I like the way you say my name In the middle of the night I like the way you talk about space And the beginning of time And you stay up too late And I'll try to stay away Cause it's my little To think of all the things I miss When I'm asleep Never thought I'd meet somebody So this was at the 
end of the voyage, which is why it's like, okay, we're all leaving. What's the point of doing anything? But like, honestly, I'm the kind of person that will be like, I will admire you from afar, but I'm not gonna do anything about it besides probably write a song and then move on. So yeah, that's what this was. I had just wrote this song and I'm like, okay, I'm good. Like, I, I'm done. <laughs> but the version that I uh, played for the talent show, I made it more like, this is a song to everybody. Like, I'm just before I go, I want you guys to know how much you guys mean to me, you know, cliche. But anyways, and you could tell the difference. So it goes. I like the way that we play. The rest of it's the same, but it's just those little details that made it a little different. But anyways, that's a fun song. Also, side note, I feel like I keep getting more and more into risky territory the closer and closer I get to the present day. After I had performed this song at the open mic, whatever, the person who it was about literally came up to me and was like, that was so good. Like, I really related to yeah, if you think the song's about you, no it isn't, and we're gonna move on now. The funny thing is on Sass, I like didn't really write down my songs, I mostly just recorded them and my voice memos directly, so I don't have like the physical written version of a lot of these. I think I'm going to have to try to remember this one by heart. I'm like scrolling through my voice memos because I'm trying to find this song. Me and my friend Emmy, shout out to my girl, we played guitar and sang together all the time on Sass. Me and my friend group decided to spend 24 hours hours in the dining hall for some reason as a challenge whoever left like lost the challenge I don't know me and most of us didn't make it we made it like 12 hours I think this song is written at like 2 a.m. I think and Emmy was you know telling me about her like ex-boyfriend or something and I'm like let's write a song might as well we're just we're here October 15th Okay, I barely remember this song because I didn't write it down, but it basically, like, it was like... Oh yeah, okay, so it goes... Everywhere I turn, I see you Every time I think I need you I just don't know what to do Every song I sing is for you Every time I dream I feel you Does it really mean I miss you? I miss you What a good one. I miss you, Emmy, if you watch my videos. Okay, so the last song I'm gonna do is the song that I wrote the last night on the ship. We were all like up all night long spending every moment together before we had to leave because like once you leave semester at sea, you're pretty much never gonna see most of these people again and I was just like so crazy. It was such an emotional night. So I was like, why don't we all write a song together? I don't know, I was that person, but everybody seemed into it. Semester at sea, some people were, they were down forever. So we were in the front like top deck, me and a couple friends they were just telling me their emotions and I was like putting it into this song and this song is called the best days of course it's super cliche it's like thank you for the best days of my life also if you guys want to see any of my semester at sea vlogs they're all on this channel still I have a playlist it just if you want to if you're curious about it I filmed the whole thing so I'm just gonna sing you the chorus so it goes they said it's all I think that's enough for today. If you guys want me to post any full-length videos of any of these songs, let me know. Thanks for being here. Thanks for chilling out with me, just playing guitar. These videos are always so fun for me. This is not what I was supposed to be doing today. <laughs>
I swear on semester at sea, I had a crush on a different person depending on the day, the week. When you're halfway through college, you've pretty much seen all the people that you were gonna see. So like having like a whole new group of people, it's just, it's a good time. <laughs> okay, that's enough. <laughs>